Sometimes it is the simple things that can resonate the most, right? Tonight we find our Tar Heel traveler in Sanford. Scott Mason tells the story of a man, his trumpet and bugle, and a beautiful setting. Ring the bell, flex the fingers, play. Oh, say can you see. This is a wonderful view. We have all kinds of birds. And boaters. I would say over 50% of the time we have an audience. An audience and a stage. Walt is on his deck overlooking the lake at Carolina Trace in Sanford. And on most early evenings, he plays. He's been playing like this for years, simply because it makes him and them happy. I've had the best life you could ever wish for. He's a wonderful, caring person. <laughs> Walt is also a very smart person. Everything I did, I wanted to know how it worked. He was an engineer who designed a particular transistor. And it flew in the first satellite that the U.S. put up. But Walt was just getting started, or, uh-oh, maybe not getting started. So you're the check engine light guy. I am indeed. Walt worked for Ford Motor Company. I remember sitting in the engineering meetings in Dearborn, Michigan. And thinking, what if the car engine has a problem? It ought to notify somebody so we know. Check engine. Walt is responsible for that gadget. That's my coup de grace. <laughs> Walt and his wife retired to the lake in Sanford, and it is such a beautiful sight, even with Walt's sight failing. But the optic nerve suffered a stroke. The final chapter in this book will be all black, but playing on the deck, I can still do that. I can contribute to the joy and happiness of everybody here on the lake, and that makes me happy. Hmm. Walt Delp was born in 1932 and turns 90 years old on September 30th. What a story.